Our agents have encountered more followers of Corypheus, these so-called Venatori. Their leader, Calpernia, has them searching elven ruins. For what, I do not know. I propose we stop the Venatori before they find what they seek. Do you know anything about Calpurnia? Only that Calpurnia is a name from ancient Tevinter legend. An unusual one. She was a priestess of Dumat, foster mother to the founder of the Imperium. A name like that is meant to assure the Venatori they follow in the footsteps of legends. We must prove them wrong. Calpurnia must be up to something. Corypheus doesn't seem the type to suffer idleness. I will not let her and Corypheus take us unawares again. These Venatori have been shadowing a merchant called Vicinius on Calpurnia's orders. They've investigated his finances, surveyed his warehouses. I propose that you meet with Vicinius. Flatter him. Find out what he knows of Calpurnia. Vicinius sounds like a Tevinter name. Born in Tallow. Although he claims to be from Virantium, he sells rare oils and amber, and prefers red wine to white. What side of the bed does he sleep on? He's unremarkable. I cannot think why Calpurnia would care. What if Vicinius is as much in the dark as we are? It never hurts to eliminate an avenue of inquiry. And we should tread lightly with the Venatori. They have contacts and spies, just as we do. The sooner you speak with Vicinius, the better. We need him to open up about these bloodthirsty cultists. I'll bring wine. Vicinius could be a useful ally. Merchants travel. And they love gossip as much as coin. I'll make arrangements for you to visit his summer home in Val Rayo. Hopefully your attention should be enough to pique his interest. We'll have Calpurnia's secrets yet. Lathalan. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Good afternoon. I need to know more about Corypheus. We spoke of this on our travels to Skyhold. What more can I tell you? Cassandra and Varric seem more familiar with their adversary. You've given me good counsel before. I could use some now. My apologies, Inquisitor. My poor manners shame me. I claim no secret wisdom. ...that I will guess as best I can. What can you tell me about the source of Corypheus' power? According to the law, the ancient magistars of the Vinter received guidance from the old gods. Corypheus commands a false archdemon, a corrupted old god. This suggests he no longer sees himself as their minion. Some of his unique power comes from the corruption of the Blight. The rest may come from the orb he carries. I would like to know more about the orb he carries. As I said, that must be the means by which he created the breach. I suspect the blast to destroy the Conclave was more accident than anything. The result of unlocking power that had sought release for ages. What I cannot understand is how he managed to survive such an explosion. You said that you believed the orb is elven. I never would have believed that a Vinter Mage could unlock such a powerful relic. It clearly enhances his abilities. ...giving him access to power I should never have known. Like the power to control the Archdemon? Indirectly, one assumes. Nothing in any law connects my people to the old god dragons who became Archdemons. What do you think Corypheus will do next? You shamed him when you destroyed Haven. It spoiled his glorious victory. It would be worse to acknowledge that you had done so. He must continue on his course or show weakness. He will return to his plans to throw Ole into chaos, and then conquer it for Devinter. You're sure that's what he'll do? As certain as is possible. Assuming I can plausibly predict a man who seeks to rise to godhood. And can you? The key is understanding this. 
No real god need prove himself. Anyone who tries is mad or lying. His deception will undo him, as it has done countless fools before. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Lathalan. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. It certainly wouldn't do for the Inquisition to appear... overly shabby. We've only just now convinced everyone we are precisely what Theras requires. The Templars will be scrutinizing your leadership. They should feel secure here. Do you not feel safe here? I've had... difficulty... forgetting Corypheus's attack on Haven. Do you know who first left to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. I keep feeling that fire's heat on the back of my neck, too. Indeed. But you're the one who led us to safety. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lady. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. You don't have to be so formal just because I'm Inquisitor now, Josephine. Our allies and guests should see you treated with every courtesy, Inquisitor, especially considering the newness of your office. Fortunately, after your courage at Haven, it's no difficult task to do so. Inquisitor, is it true? Is the mark on your hand magic cast by Corypheus? Corypheus claimed it's a spell gone wrong. I wanted to think it was a blessing. A sign the Maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. The Maker hasn't shown himself for some time. There's no reason he'd start now. Perhaps you're right. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. It's not pain. It's more like my nerves go on fire. It sounds most unpleasant. A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with. But I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be Divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were... Not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence.
why don't we counter these falsehoods by starting rumors of our own? A whisper campaign. It would show those in the know we have some subtlety at our command. Good day to you. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of this. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? You may see the Countess Lutetia in the halls. A lovely woman, but her conversations tend towards the unusual. She's the patron of Orlais' greatest naturalists. The Countess's particular passion is collecting butterflies. That doesn't sound unusual. She goes into great detail about preserving them. It seems to involve large amounts of chemicals and pins. I'm serving now, in a different way. <laughs> Again. So you like to have fun. The Inquisition seems an odd fit. Why are you really here? What do you mean? To help people. It's starting to sound like you're looking for something more. It is. Mostly. Okay, fine. There's talk and... I want to see. See what? I don't know. I just... I've got all this Chantry stuff in my head, and it makes sense, right? But it's... fuzzy. I want to see if it's all really real. I just don't know if I want to really know. So I'm selfish. It's all for me. Count yourself lucky, I guess. Are things playing out the way you expected? Cassandra laid it out, right? You're the big hat now. Gonna make everything the way it should be. Crane's nice, I suppose. Corypheus bit, though. Shite. Corypheus. 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 Sack splash. I know his name. Doesn't deserve the respect of me saying it, does he? I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Your wish is something, something. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. What is it? Majestic. How is a place like this ever lost?
It's made from people. I'd like to talk with you about the Inquisition. I don't understand it. People talk like it's a person, but it's not even a thing. A dagger can be a way to let pain out, but even if it isn't, it's still a dagger. The Inquisition isn't real unless it has something real to make it. It's like a spirit. Can you explain how your mind works? Yes. It must be sad feeling everyone's pain all the time. Why? Isn't it? No. I help. I find wounds and heal them. I salve, soothe, save. I see pain and make it better. How could I not be happy? What do you sense when you focus on me? You're too bright. Like counting birds against the sun. The mark makes you more, but past it, you reach across. Mindful meaning. You pull it through to this side, make it real here. And past that, the weight of all on you. All the hopes you carry, fears you fight, you are theirs. It must be very hard. I hope I help. Sometimes you say things that relate to other members of the Inquisition. They remember me. Their eyes stick, some more. They want me to be. Varric is quiet inside. He pulls me more to here. Makes me a person. Calls me kid. A friend. Solace, bright and sad, observes and accepts. Spirit self, seeing the soul, solace, but somehow sorrows. Walk me through the way you help someone. I start by listening. I hear hurt, feel it fretting. Some you can solve by giving something, food, a blanket, sleep. Some are intangible, terrible tangles that catch on a crack. Fixed, festering, and the person makes a pearl of pain. I shake it loose. No pearl, no pain. They can hope, they can heal. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? She hurts, but helping hurts more. She sees the strings that pull me, eyes like raisins in a stale cookie. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages. It started the rebellion. Seeker Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. What did you mean when you said you killed mages? Some of the mages at the Spire wanted to die. Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop made me understand there were other ways to help i didn't know you murdered helpless mages and that's all you have to say yes i didn't know and i stopped when i did but that doesn't mean i didn't do it they were hurting helpless haunted it was all i could do it was wrong i was wrong if I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. What can you tell me about Reese? He was a mage. He saw me when most couldn't, and he remembered. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. 
They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. If you like, I could use the resources of the Inquisition to locate your friend. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look at me. He saw a monster. Let him forget. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. I'm hiding Reese from him, but he chants words and sees. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold. Corrupt. So I came and killed him. If you hated Seeker Lambert, why go to the Seeker Fortress? Because he was right. I was a demon. I saw demons at Adamant. They put people in the dark, in the old hurts. I didn't want to be that. I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royo and followed them. If I forgot, fought, fell to felling, Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone again. What was the spire like when the Mage Rebellion started? Dead and dying, begging and bloody. Some wanted freedom, some peace, some war. Some wanted it all to stop. Evangeline was a Templar, but she helped Reese help the others. She set them free. Adrian was a mage, but she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help, to stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. What can you tell me about Adamant Fortress? It is old full of sadness and pain. It should be torn down. The veil is thin. We found a demon there. It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on the bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. I'll talk to you later. Probably. An old name burns inside armor that shouldn't fit. Lit by faces of children he couldn't save. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven but could never prepare for an archdemon, or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corypheus strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but has improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Inquisitor Lavellan. It sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. And you have proven yourself.
Thank you, Cullen. Our escape from Haven. It was close. I'm relieved that you... that so many made it out. As am I. You stayed behind. You could have... I will not allow the events at Haven to happen again. You have my word. At your service. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? How do you like working with Leliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly, but Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. I should let you get back to work. Did you need something? Is there anything I should know? Repairs to Skyhold's fortifications are progressing. Our scouts report no immediate threats in the surrounding area. We are fortunate Solus knew of this place. Is there anything I should know? I'd gotten used to mages disliking me on principle. Vivienne's views on Templars are surprisingly traditional. Is there anything I should know? Sarah brought me a piece of cake. She thought I looked hungry. Why are you telling me this? Because it was either an act of kindness or a trap. I was hoping you knew which. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. <laughs>